Hi guys, and welcome to a kind of modern update, I guess, in a way, uh, of all of my modern stuff. So, a lot of you guys have been asking, you know, what happened to Let's, well, Dakar City, I guess, not really Let's Build Dakar City, uh, but what happened to Dakar City and what happened to Let's Build an Airport, and uh, basically what happened is I was planning on moving on to a new map, and this is the new map that I got in front of me. Uh, this is actually the Dine map uh, on Dakarcraft. Uh, it was the actual Unity City map. Which I was planning on building with Zarius, but it's just so time consuming. I think it's just so massive um, that the actual uh, scale of things is just too huge. And also the map itself is just massive. Uh, so I'm actually going to take it off the server to free up space. I'm actually on a new one. I'll be just kind of showing you guys uh, what that new one is. But this episode is going to be kind of uh, talking you guys through what's going to be happening and the new series that I'm going to be starting. Which is going to be a new kind of solid city, which you guys can actually get involved with as well. It's going to be still on the server, and I am going to be allowing people to build on it. So that'll be quite useful uh, for you guys. It'll kind of um, help me out loads with a lot of the buildings, and it'll make the city progress a lot, lot quicker. Uh, so of course, like application-wise, it'll be through plots as usual. Um, the server, of course, is at the minute anyway. <laughs> well, me making this video is still whitelisted, but it will. Hopefully be up by then. So it'll be through plots or it'll be through you building or, you know, maybe we'll whitelist you, allow you to build on the plots and then see if you guys can actually uh, uh, are kind of good enough or if you are most like interested enough, I guess, to, uh, to build on the city, uh, which will be quite good. Me and Zarius are still going to be kind of admining that one, uh, but it is kind of my world in a way. So we'll see how it is and we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, this was Unity. This is going to replace Daka City. A lot of you guys know what Daka City looks like. Um, St. Vincent, which is Quitster's world on the server, it's basically the same map, but uh, Quitster's gone nuts and he's expanding it loads. Uh, I had only just built like, a tiny bit on this island and gone across, and I'd started building a couple of houses over here. That was all I got to, um, but I kind of wanted to do a completely new map, uh, which again, why Unity came up, but this was a 40k by 40k map. As you can see, uh, size-wise, this has taken up a huge chunk of space on the server for nothing. Um, and unfortunately, if I do delete it, getting it back at a later time is like a nightmare. So, yeah, I'm just going to do a new one. But uh, this one did have, and I'll, I'll kind of talk you through what we had idea-wise for this one, so that we can see how we're going to progress and what I did on this one, which was different, and what uh, what I want to do as well. So again, go in the Central Island, uh, which I freaking love. Central Island. It's actually got two highways on each side uh, with streetcars in the middle, which doesn't make that much sense now that we're doing it. It also did have a monorail as well which I'll be taking ideas from that and putting it into the new world. And we can see this all really, really grid-like, and it did work out quite nicely. And then we actually go... Might as well warp over there. So it's slash... Oh, well, it's UC underscore Echo Park. And I'll have to keep on switching that as well. So... Slash warp underscore park. So this is the only actual finished area, I guess, that we did. And what is it? Echo Park. There we go. So that's because I'm actually not paying attention. I'm trying to talk to you guys, so... Um, this is the one that we actually completed. Now this was when it was a lot earlier texture pack wise. Uh, the actual idea for Unity was it being a futuristic city. Um, now this is looking really cool now that I've changed a lot of the textures. So I'm still going to be taking a lot of inspiration from this. I was also learning how to do trees. So that helped me out loads. Uh, as you can see I've been cutting out little bits of the road to make space and things. I was just playing around with some ideas but now I've got a completely new way of doing it. I figured out new ways so I kind of uh, I guess this episode will be touring Unity, I guess. Uh, so there you go, you got the futuristic bus that I did. And down here we do have my building. I'll be carrying that over onto the new world. Uh, I think quick, I think uh, Zarius made that one out of uh, flows. So definitely. But um, the idea was... Now I'll show you guys. That... There we go. Here's the big roads. So this was the big roads that we actually had wrapping around. Um, now it was drive on the left because uh, I'm in the UK. Uh, so there we go. We got that. We had... Loads of these ideas. Massive, massive road. Really cool, like, courtyardy area here. So, that was quite nice, but it never got finished. Um, also, we've got this really cool subway. So, I'll actually be showing you guys that. Maybe I'll show you guys that first. Um, or this first, and then that. Um, so, yeah, we had, like, really, really massive ideas. And I think it was a bit too big for two people to do. <laughs> to do a kind of, like, futuristic. So, I'm going to try just a normal one. Uh, and try and get you guys involved, is basically the idea. But I still want to carry this over. I know that uh, Zarius has carried over our cool... Um, I mean, it just looks cool, doesn't it? That, that's like a monorail thing. It's a uh, SimCity uh, inspired kind of monorail thing. So, yeah, that's cool. I know that he's uh, carried that onto Flowsville. Um, but that's a really cool idea. I'll be definitely carrying that over. I don't know why there's pigs around. Uh, there we go. This is actually the tunnel. So this was a quite a cool idea. This is actually 
Looking a lot nicer in the new texture pack version. Um, as well as the ceiling as well. That's all looking really cool. And also, actually, also the shader. Uh, Conquest of the Sun. Makes it look really good. So in here we had like a subway station. I'll be carrying over, again, ideas from what I've done on this one. I'll be carrying over. I think it looks really cool with the really open dome. Uh, and also joining up uh, across parts. Uh, we were planning on having like shops. Now, Zarius was playing around with some of these like... Not shop windows, but windows. There you go. So you got pits. Like a pit stop. I thought that was really cool. And then over here, wow. It's in an arcade. Cool. Uh, <laughs> so that's what other stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, so yeah, I'll be carrying over a lot of these ideas. Again, playing around with a couple of trees. I need to actually change a couple of these. Uh, as well as holographic trees. We're trying out those. It's really weird. Uh, trying out a couple of these little shops. Which I thought was really cool. I'm actually going to try. I don't know if it works in this shader pack. I hold a block. Yeah, it does. It does work. So, here what we've got is the start of the star blocks, uh, which I thought was kind of cool. Actually, I used uh, those kind of things there. So, it was a star blocks in here. But, uh, before the sign. So, there you, go. you can see the textures uh, and uh, getting all that kind of stuff and like game faces, all this kind of stuff. So, there's a lot of really interesting ideas in it. It's just um, we never really got around to it. I did do quite a lot on the tunnel and we've got this really weird subway that kind of train. Now this goes really far. The idea was that it was going to be so realistic that everything did link up and I really did get close to it. I'm going to do the same on my new city as well. So everything will be linking up. If there's a subway, it, like two subway stations, they will be joined. That is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, there we go. Jump over here. Uh, so that is actually the subway kind of like station that we were starting to build. So I kind of showed that off. Uh, of course we had all of this. Uh, now what we also did, I did have my gigantic head in here. I think a uh, Fountain was going to be planned at some point. Uh, and you can see me starting to mess around this hill because I ended up copying and pasting and buggering things up. I've also got a weird little streetcar. I think this is my one. Is that my one? Yeah, that's my one. So, weird little streetcar. Uh, also playing out the roads, but it's all a little bit random. I, th I was trying to be too perfect with it. Really nice junction here, which is what I'm going to be trying to do more. Uh, Zarius was building his own petrol station as well. Um, so that's kind of cool, and a floating car, as well as this massive car. <laughs> so that's a massive version of his car, which I, I actually looks pretty good. It's really weird. It's so strange, but yeah. So okay, so there we go. So over here we've got you know that building, uh, which I did have in the background on one of my videos. This one is kind of GTA 5 inspired, and it's got a sheep on the top of it. That's weird. And it's kind of GTA 5 inspired from I think it's the Eclipse building or something. I actually haven't played GTA 5 yet. It's still not out for PC yet. Um, but as soon as it is, I'm going to be playing the hell out of that. But um, yeah, a really cool building uh, that I was messing around with. So I'll be pulling over that design and probably changing it up a little bit. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that does look really cool though. New textures actually do it justice. So then we had all this. So we had cars and things uh, pretty much everywhere, like vans and all of that jazz. Uh, messing around with this weird idea here. This was actually a mistake. Uh, messing around with the, the poles. This is where the, another subway was going to go. Um, so that was kind of cool. Uh, this is why I was messing around with junctions. So I've actually learned how to do junctions and tried a couple ideas and I now know uh, what I should be doing if that makes sense. So what I can do to improve and actually improve them. Uh, that's weird. I got another TAF car. Uh, so there we go. And the sidewalks are there. So I know what to improve on these now which is really nice to actually do this on a Frickin' grand scale, and then, then actually scale it back. Now you'll notice there's different colours, and also there we go, different si there's actually signs around. The colours were planned to be different zones. So, for example, blue is commercial. So you'd have blue as commercial. Uh, I think light blue, which is this one here, is residential. This one would be a service or swimming pool. This is leisure for yellow. Um, that was a really interesting idea. Uh, it it kind of works. So if you guys are going to do block-based stuff like like this. Uh, I do recommend doing it. Yeah, so I think it was uh, commercial was bl like dark blue, yellow was a service, like uh, not service but a leisure centre like uh, I don't know like cinema, swimming pool that kind of stuff. Uh, red was a actual a service like fire or police or hospital, um, and then we we're like doing like pink for like strip clubs or casinos and stuff like that. So we actually planned it out that way. Now that is quite a good idea to actually do. Just make sure that you get the sizing right. Now, one mistake that I made on this was that I made the uh, the the blocks first and not the buildings first. Now, <laughs> it's actually probably better if I just built this road 
and this road, built my building, then figured it out and then go, okay, that's probably going to be the standard size for my buildings. That's how I'm going to do it. Uh, that's that's what I would do now and what I'm going to be doing. So I advise doing that uh, in the future. Don't don't build your blocks first. Don't build your roads first. Build a couple roads, then, then figure it out. Now, this is where we had the 45 degree strip, which I made all those weird cars, which from a distance... Look good. <laughs> so, that's always good. Uh, this was a really cool 3D sign that I mainly... Actually, no, me and Taft did both work on this one, actually, equally. It's really cool, like, using, like, a holographic sign type thing, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I got a couple of trees. I was messing around again with, like, little trees and things. Um, we got some of these really cool... Uh, Z came up with these, like, holographic-y things, as well as benches. So, those, those were really cool. Um, so, this was our futuristic city. I think this... I can't remember where this... Where's this sculpture from? I, it's not one of ours. It was put in there... Uh, it was somebody else that did it. Uh, but then making this cool, like, water gun. Uh, Zaris is really good at these. Uh, we've got the drug tunnel in here. Um, that's why. <laughs> that's really just trippy. Uh, <laughs> that's Zaris. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we got that one. Uh, now, this is a really cool idea. Light grey wall, then stone slabs, then light grey wall. Ah. That's a really cool idea, actually. That looks really good. Uh, so there we go, we've got all of that, as well as like a little area here, so I'll kind of tour that. Just trying to make sure I don't skip over too many things. We've got a couple trees. And I don't know what that is. Is that just like a... No idea why the suns are there. Um, really cool little playground type thing. Nice little simple playground. So you got like the, the hopper things that uh, kids can go on. Got a couple of swings. It's quite a nice little, little idea for swings. Uh, we got a seesaw. Uh, solar powered sweet seesaw uh, bench so you can watch the kids obviously and make sure they don't kill each other or whatever uh, sand pit uh, got the climbing things here so there's some really good ideas that are definitely going to be taking uh, over from this place and then of course the actual kids slide itself or the other thing now is that the actual slide or is that I think that's the actual slide yeah that's the actual slide so then you got this inside bit so all in all pretty cool uh, little little area there I was planning on building a star star bot blocks again uh, in this bit but I never got around to it uh, really cool gardens these are again Zaris's type of gardens they're like crazy they really are just nuts uh, <laughs> uh, really like futuristic bus stop with the futuristic bus because of course it's futuristic um, so I've got a tutorial on that one anyway now I can't remember what the entrance is on this is it on the other side no can't be it must be over here yes over here there we go so futuristic bus uh, as well as the futuristic bus stop which is like just lights and lots of holographic futures now type stuff, <laughs> which is really cool. But there you go. That's all like uh, around that garden. I then messing around with a couple of trees again. Kind of simple. Uh, I'll show you guys it over on this side first, and then I'll go into this is Zarius. This one this is freaking awesome. So I did like a little sports area here. This one's my little project uh, that I was working on. I uh, just using the different metas, and this was before. This was actually before um. Oh no, it wasn't. It was before I changed it. <laughs> That's why. Uh, so it was... There we go. There. So we go. we've got the nets and stuff. I haven't got the ball, obviously. These player heads did work, but they've all switched weirdly. Hmm. That's strange. Uh, we've got tennis courts as well. Three tennis courts there. I've got a nice little gardeny piece here. And I'm actually going to slow the hell down because that's annoying the hell out of me. Right, so if we go into here, we've got a nice little garden place. Lots of trees. Again, this was me learning some trees. Uh, some of them are a bit rubbish, some of them are alright, uh, so again, just learning. Like fountains and stuff, uh, even more sitting areas, then we've got the actual bathrooms, so drinking fountain there, of course, because you do get that kind of stuff. Uh, now this was me trying out like medieval-ish ideas on modern. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting, it's like using different bits, I don't know. It's quite good, I, I think. Uh, then we got over here, we got the ice, look out through there, so it's all mirrored. Uh, Simple stuff, got a hand dryer, uh, normal toilets and stuff, you know, just really typical stuff and there's a urinal on this side and there is probably more cubicles on the other one. So I actually hid that urinal behind it uh, for the mirrored effect. Uh, yeah, so on this one I didn't actually have any at all, I just had an extra cubicle on that side and just put in a tree. Oh, there's a tree on the other side. I did something. <laughs> I did like something like that. So that's really cool. Now let's check out the really cool bit, which is uh, Zarius's freaking awesome like sky thing uh also messing around with holographic like basketball that was uh, supposed to be now this is uh zarius's this this is awesome this is like a futuristic skate park 
indoor skate park as well. So, yeah, uh, I ended up spending ages on this because uh, it was a pain in the ass. Saris asked me to give him a hand, so I actually got the, the actual loop done. Uh, so that was a pain. That was a real pain to get that done, but it's really cool. Then we got the hoverboards around. So, of course, hoverboards aren't actually that far away. Uh, so, got a couple of hoverboards around. You know, I got half pipes. Um, you guys will know more about this because I don't actually skate. You know, got the thing that you can do the thing on. <laughs> I got a couple of nice little sitting areas and also you know, water where you can get water from. So light, light same blue. That actually looks really cool. It's water. Um, so yeah, loads of stuff like that, like a bowl there and good old like things. And you've got somebody that's actually grinding on that pipe, or not pipe, that thing that they do. You know what I mean? So yeah, that's this. This is really cool. I love this area. Uh, it's just great. It's brilliant. So hopefully, uh, Zarius carries that over. Uh, into the other worlds. If not, I'll give them a schematic anyway. So that's what that's all looking like. Now, the stuff that I've actually learned from doing this, or I'm going to make sure I haven't missed anything in this place. Uh, oh, I have. Uh, what's that? Mariana Docks. I might actually just fly over there because I have a rough idea of where it is. Um, so yeah, what, a lot of the stuff that I've actually learned from doing this and city-based stuff is don't go big too fast. Work, take your time with it. Because I went really big, really, really quickly, and it did not work at all. Um, so you got to be careful of that. There you go. I told you no worries. Um, now, some of the stuff that you need to do with cities is being like more. Oh, I don't think I worked. Be be quite fluid. Uh, so, for example, I've got like a nice fluid change going down here. Whereas before, I was trying to keep it all in this block formation, and it didn't really work with everything that I wanted it to work with. Um, but this, I think, looked really cool. Uh, just having, like, layered grass, which was basically the hill, the natural hill that was there. Just keeping that and, and keeping this going up and then going down. and Just works really nicely, I think. Uh, now, there's horses and stuff around. So, we've got a load of uh, Zaris's cars here. And this is actually a ferry port. And this is a ferry, of course. That water actually looks really good in Conquest of the Sun. Uh, so, over here, I've got a small... I've got the car park, obviously. We've got these, which is, like, height limits. Make sure that I don't cut across here. Um, we've got which one was that? Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but yeah, uh, we've got that one. So this is like really simple. Uh, I didn't start detailing it yet, but we've got like a ramp that actually goes down, like a little joining ramp. Now that ramp is actually part of this back, so that will then flip over here. So this just like hits down. And I can't remember if I actually put in. Yeah, I've got in a couple little joining beams there, and I've got this massive ferry and also plane up there. Um, so this was a, a massive ferry that I decided to build, just an absolutely huge one, because you know what I'm like. Uh, there will, of course, before you guys ask, there'll be a tutorial at some point. There will, I promise. It's just, um, I'm not really too sure when. This is a really interesting idea. I wanted to get a full interior as well, so have a load of, uh, you know, the normal cars in that part. But in, like, these, where you've got these circular bits, uh, in, like, this part, I want to have, like, a full cafe and things, and then... The idea would be that you can actually see a plane in there, which would be really cool uh, when you do like an interior tour. So you can actually see a plane. Um, that's why I've kind of framed that uh, over there. I did actually frame it like here, I think it's something like that. Um, but yeah, really cool. Um, ferry dock, so that was just like a little idea to, to fit in. We've then got a, I think it's a Boeing, no it's not a Boeing. This is an Airbus A380 and I am going up fast. It's just, uh, it's quite far away. Don't know where we are in terms of, so there you go, you can see I'm going up. Uh, so this was the yeah, the Boeing, no, Airbus A380, so I shoved that one uh, from my tutorial in the air. And I messed around with like a little livery type thing, and I've also done, you know, the typical cobweb type stuff, and then, then filtering it out. So this one I just went with like simple blues, uh, just like a blue pattern here on those bits, also on the winglets here. Um, very simple, just have this going across now, because I've got the coloured wall slabs, I was able to switch those out, and... Uh, put the air on it. Very simple. Uh, I never got around to interior, but um, it was on the list, definitely. So yeah, we ended up getting onto that. Now I am going to also zoom over to across the way to uh, the other side. Now is that just straight across, I wonder? Yeah, it's pretty much straight across and up. So I'm going to just zoom over to there. So that was a really cool idea. I'm going to start doing that in, in my actual new city, and I'm also going to do the interior. So if I place something the idea is that if I place it, I have to basically do the like, full part of it. I can't just leave it uh, at all. 
Uh, so <laughs> that's that's one of the things that I got stuck on with this one. And then I was got really annoyed that I hadn't finished anything. Uh, and you can see how much water there is as well on this map, which is ridiculous. Because I might actually get lost. Um, I have to check where I am. I can't actually check where I am. I'm just going to do warp there instead. Oh, I've actually found this anyway. And I think it's just up from here. There we go, so I found it. See, I can actually find everything on this map, despite being pretty nuts. Now, the next thing that me and Zaris were working on, we saw, um, well, we, we were just playing around with some docks, actually, and then weirdly, Jag Thunder released his... Oh, holy hell, that is cool-ass vehicle. Make sure that Zaris doesn't lose that, because that is cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, before Jag actually put up his shipping, kind of like, cargo docks, we had, we had already started on it. I'd already started... Well, I'd already built four of these massive cargo ships. Um, this is the biggest one of them all. Uh, so people that follow me on Facebook have seen these months and months ago. Uh, so there we go, got a massive one here. Zarius actually built the cranes for it, which I think look pretty cool as well. Mm, they're huge. Uh, now of course, because we've got a, a plug-in on the server, we can actually have floating ladders, which is quite useful. Uh, and Zarius was messing around with a couple of new trucks, so we've started to we started to do this. Uh, but I think again, we need to have like a team of people, like five people, five, ten people maybe. Uh, just blitzing it and getting through it. Um, I've got the ships for it. I just need to get the manpower to plan all this out. But you can see it's pretty huge what we actually have been planned. Uh, I think there is actually somewhere the plan for it. There we go. So this was the actual plan. So if you guys are ever going to do something on a big scale, uh, this is what I actually advise doing. So you can see here what we had actually done is we're planning it out with these stone brick slabs were representing ships. So we had like ships in the water. This one's up on the dock. You can see here we've got one of the cranes, and that's what we actually had over there. A uh, big road here, like a, a lock's going across here. That's where they actually go on. Uh, these were trucks. So, and then you got the paths going in here, as well as all the ships around there. And there you go, got a couple of trucks that go in. So it's just like a nice little, interesting little plan. Um, I'm going to be doing that for my bigger scale stuff, but I'll actually show you guys that when I've when I've done the plan and then I was going through the plan, <laughs> I guess. Uh, but yeah, this was like a really big project. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's, it's kilometers. Um, this strip of land is, is seriously kilometers. This is like a ship that's 300 blocks long. 350? No, maybe more than that. It might be even 400. I don't know. It's huge. So yeah, this is a huge ship. Um, so we're going to be doing something similar, probably on the new map. I do as well was to have this going across. Um, but that is pretty much it. Uh, there was, of course, loads of ships in the water. I just put my ships, I put my fleet. So I'll probably do a similar thing uh, somewhere else, as well as my super, super ship. And you can see the size of the Ark Royal, uh, the Invincible Class aircraft carrier, compared to, to my custom one. Um, Size-wise, it <laughs> doesn't even compete. <laughs> um, so I'm going to move my all of my ships and everything probably onto a new map, and uh, that'd be really cool. Uh, now, of course, there is one other thing. That's my zoo. So my zoo is actually, of course, on Unity City. It was part of it, but but I never joined it up. I'll be moving this zoo. Uh, I'll probably do it seamlessly, so you guys won't notice. I'll record like 20 episodes or something of the zoo. Move it all over, make sure it's all working, it's all fine, and then then be able to continue on. So that will be actually fine. You guys probably won't notice that. But yeah, the new map. Right, the new map. Let's go on to the new map. Uh, what I've already done so far off camera is I've just set out this road and I might actually just show you guys instead I might I'll show you guys a, a, a kind of overview first and then I'll show you guys it in person I guess uh, so the idea being that it's got an underpass as a main highway this is quite common in the UK actually and, and common where I am so that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to do stuff that's diff different I guess um, so yeah your main highway being under and then the normal roads just kind of go over by these little bridges and then having like roads that go off of it and onto the, the kind of highway. Um, also messing around with some big junctions. I'll show you guys that uh, in a bit as well. But yeah, let's go and teleport over there. So MVTP, and this is one that's called Lioness, uh, which is quite cool, I think. It's a different name. Uh, so there we go. Again, driving on the left. Partly to do it differently now, Quitster, um, which is St. Vincent. You guys that have seen St. Vincent, it's like pretty crazy. Uh, they actually drive on the other side. What I'm trying to do is be quite different to what Quitster's doing so that we show and mess around with two completely different ideas. He has, look, there you go, his highway is up the top and then it has these crazy junctions as well. Uh, so mine's going to be a, a lower one, but yeah. <laughs> so we're doing it completely different as well as driving on the other side of the road. 
So all I've done is I've just created this like highway. Uh, this is highly inspired by Huntington City uh, on the Estelon community server. Uh, so I've been going over there. It is it's phenomenal. There's so many ideas I've picked up from it, such as this, like uh, just like the central lane actually missing mixing in gravel, podzol and dirt and grass and uh, all these kind of stuff. I've done it more LD modern, but it works so so nicely. And then just putting in you know grassy bits in there, uh, as well as these bits on the side. And there will be trees of course on these sides as soon as I. Uh, do some better textures for trees and then get building on trees. So yeah, I've got a, like a nice highway. Um, now one thing that I've done differently is all of my cars I say my cars, we've got like a car by Yazza uh, we've got a car by, you know, Zarius and there's another Zarius one. There's quite a few Zarius ones around, of course, because Z's around, <laughs> so yeah and they're just cool. Um, quite a few different cars as well so there'll be like more and we're going to build up like just a huge library of cars and have them all, or vehicles as well. I've uh, got a couple of mine as well. We've got a couple of my 45 degree derp cars. Um, but the idea being on this new map that I was going to try and make it more realistic. One of the ways I've done it is by using torches on the front. Now I've had to kind of cheat to get these on, but uh, it works. And also having the redstone torches on the back. That one doesn't have one, but uh, they get these ones do. So they've got redstone torches. Now what happens if I do... P time and I actually change it to not PM AM. <laughs> there we go AM. What happens is these now look like headlights and it actually looks better in Zeus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Zeus. There you go. So in Zeus, it does look better. It looks like fuzzy, foggy even. Um, the idea being that these then have like headlamps and headlights and I think they look better. Uh, also the redstone torches do give out give out a little bit of light. So that's kind of quite useful. But these give out loads of light. So kind of spreads. I could have also done this with my invisible uh, glowstone block that I have, or, or using end portals as well. Uh, but there we go. If I, for example, do this, oh, and that one. So you can do it. I could do it that way. But it then pulls the light around here. So what I've done instead is I've had it here so that it looks like. Well, it looks more natural if I do it that way. Um, it just looks a bit more, a little bit better. So I've done that on all of those. Uh, I'm trying to make it look more realistic. Obviously I'm missing tons and tons of lights, uh, which is always good about going to night time. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but that's looking really cool. Uh, also trying to make realism as well with bits like having of course this guard. We've also got uh, drains as always. I always got to have drains. Uh, the other thing is stuff like this. I'll show you guys. There we go. So underneath uh, these bridges, they would always have like a material. So I've got the moss stone, and I've actually mixed in some of the light moss stone as well. Uh, the different variants. Uh, I've put in this bit here as well. This actually guard comes through. Because there was, apparently, uh, a gap here where homeless people could actually sleep and hide. Now with the design, because I've been a bit more fancy with my design. Uh, and had like these arches on these bits just to make it look better. And also having the beams and things. Uh, it did mean that there was a space over on this bit. So... This is where a homeless person could actually sleep. So what I've done is I've put in a little sleeping bag. And it's called Hobo Legs. He's got a bottle of wine. He's got a note. And that's all he's got. So it's kind of like hidden. Um, and I, I love doing stuff like that. So I'm going to do more of that stuff in this city. Um, <laughs> so there you go. So I'm going to try and focus on realism on this one. And you know, make it, make it a bit messy. and uh, But at the same time make it more realistic. So here I have the first junction. I did show this off quickly in... Uh, the LD Modern update. So I've got, you know, all the signs of the road. So instead of having like a big mishmash at this junction because it's on the highway, what we've got instead is we've got, you know, traffic lights, but we've also got through, through roads, through roads, uh, quick roads, I don't know, a uh, little turns off. So say if this guy wanted to go, you know, left, he didn't want to go straight on, he didn't want to go right. There's no point in him queuing at that point. Uh, instead, he can actually just go into this lane, go all the way across here, you know, make sure he doesn't run over anyone. Look that way, it goes, okay, it's clear, and then goes off on his merry way. And I've done that for all four of them, so it's, you know, created an extra lane of traffic here, here, and, and everywhere, and it just makes it a little bit easier. Uh, I'm still not happy with these bits, because I think they're a little bit too steep, but when I was actually driving around to have a look at the UK ones, this is actually generous, so <laughs> it's a bit weird. Uh, so that would be to, like, drive across to this side and actually work, so I've, I've done, like, a dotted line here to make it clear. Uh, I also need to do some more actual signs on these roads to show you guys, well, not show you guys, but show the people that are driving uh, where it's all going. So I'm just starting to do a lot more road sign type things. Uh, I shoved in a couple of these 45 degree ones because they actually do work there to show again direction. 
So we've got a car there that's actually driving off and using that slip road, uh, even though the traffic's here. And also, with traffic lights, uh, even though obviously mine are animated, and if I actually turn off shaders, it looks a bit better. You can see the colours a lot better. There you go. Uh, even though, you know, mine are animated, I'm still at traffic point junctions. Instead of just having random cars splattered everywhere, I'm making cars stop for it. So, you know, we've got like a couple, little bit of a traffic queue here uh, that are all waiting. And on this side as well, I'm going to start to pile them up. I just wanted to show you guys these signs. Uh, but I will start piling them up on this side as well. And then we've got, you know, a couple of cars. We've got a bike going across this way. So that, that means that this this is actually green at the time. Uh, we've got a van. It's actually turning over into this lane. So there you go. have got a van there. 45 degree van. You know, something cool to show direction. Uh, but we've also got this weird derp car that I made uh, based off Jag Thunder's design. It's based off Jag Thunder's design. But Jag, it's it's so alien now. <laughs> I don't know if you want this one anymore. Your name on it. But... Um, yeah, like trying out stuff like that to make it more realistic. Uh, so I'm going to be doing quite a lot of builds on this world. Um, and it's going to be half and half. Series-wise, it is going to be half and half. It's going to be kind of like Dakar City where I built and then showed you guys. But there's also going to be Let's Builds coming from this. So Let's Build a Zoo, for example. I didn't want to just build an entire zoo and then say ta-da. Because that would take months and months and months of work for one video. Uh, and you guys couldn't give input until the end and... Yeah, I'm just looking at the weird pattern that this is now creating. Um, so I didn't really want that. I wanted to, to try and get some input. So I'm going to try and do that on a lot of different things. Um, so I think the first one I'm going to do is a petrol station because it makes sense to put there. But uh, if you guys have suggestions, what I'll do is I'll, I'll build out the city and uh, keep on putting in, you know, different new sections for those builds. Roads and stuff I'll do off camera because they're boring. Um... Unless they're like this, but I still think I'll do them off camera. Uh, there'll also be other builds and buildings going up off camera, and I'll just do tours on them. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Uh, Zaris is also doing some crazy, crazy building over here. Uh, he started on uh, Z Coast Customs, so he's going to do like a big car thing. Uh, it's already starting to look pretty cool, actually. Uh, Texture-wise, he's actually using sand, which I don't even think about using. So yeah, it's kind of looking cool, isn't it? Yeah. So there's going to be quite a few of them, but um, yeah, you know, uh, see what you guys can do and what you come up with, and um, tell me what you guys want to see, I guess, because I'll be basing my uh, material off that. But anyway, that's enough from uh, me talking. I don't know how long I've talked for. I think it's way too long, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.